what are the most dangerous things in life? Usually, it's new thing that the man is not aware to. That's why he's not familiar with the danger within them and he's not taking any cautious. The Holy Torah already taught that years ago, thousands of years ago, in our parasha, parashat Re'eh. It said, and if you should stray from the path that I, Hashem, command you to walk in today, to follow after new gods, other gods that you're not familiar with, what the Holy Torah hints in the words that you're not familiar with. In the book, Chut Shel Chesed, it was explained that the power of the evil inclination is way greater where? When it's something new. I'm familiar. We're going to try to bring things home. If today some kind of a spokesman or a politician going to try to revive the idea of the communism, socialism, even if a charismatic and very talented speaker, only total fools going to listen to him. Why? Because this kind of idol worship called communism already bankrupt. We heard about it. We're familiar with the idea of it and we found that it's baloney and futile and it's totally corrupt within. And this is correct to all kind of ideologies that came from nowhere with huge noise, bringing thousands of followers all of a sudden, but collapse <laughs> with huge disgrace. Holy cows were born, but when we f become familiar with their nature, we shech them, we kill them, slaughter them in embarrassment for what they were. And that's what the Holy Torah teach in the words that you're not familiar with. The obligation of cautiousness, be careful, guard yourself, is way greater in any new ideology, style, or anything, because there the power of the evil inclination is greater. And we, Klal Israel, are obligated to be careful and not to be blinded from any kind of new nonsense that just grab thousands of followers in any kind of manners, if it's religious, social, media, electronics. We need to cling to one thing, as it says in our parasha, to the path that I, Hashem, command you to walk today, not then, only today, right now in purity and holiness and more not less important security that i know that the ground not going to fall under my legs Bezat Hashem, we should follow hashem with happiness belief and kindness to the environment to everybody and don't be blind to follow any new nonsense even though it's sparkling and make a lot of lights and noise because when the battery is over, everything is dark. Nachat Ruach Klal Yisrael, Parashat Re'eh.